All right, this is Chris from Science Good here with the guys from Astronaut. How's it going? You're not too bad. Not too bad. Fantastic. All right, so how about you tell us a bit about the band before we get things going? Yeah, we're going to go back. Stoner rock, doom, metal, or metal, doom, fuck. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. If they don't like to tell many people, not the rest of us are from Armagh. Yeah, that's Ripping it up, recording our tunes. A Sunday cats or go. Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> Riffing the nation. Your cheese, Tom. What year did you sell four masks on that? Uh, it started in November 1st, 2011. Yeah, that's right. after yeah. Halloween. We were, fuck, what happened? You guys were needing a drummer and a bass player, and then Hulk or Fuffle would be in demo. Uh, we had, we already had Todd. You knew Todd from Tag, didn't you? I knew Todd from Tag. Oh, I, he was an ocean of fault, checking my case. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a cry of shock. <laughs> um, um, me and Gaz were previously in Stone Sad, and then Gaz got Todd in the go. Yeah, capture him. It's the one. <laughs> I didn't know that these guys were joining until the fucking Davin Townsend gig. Was it yeah. you that? No, it's at Davin Townsend gig. It was like three days before the first jam. Yeah, right. so met them at Davin Townsend gig. Good. We had yeah. jam before though, uh, one time our drummer couldn't play a gig and so uh, we ended up uh, yeah, 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 he was getting broke to half and we were like, yeah. right, no, we want to play a fucking New Year's Eve. So we uh, got Pearson, had a few jams and Jamo, Demo, he sort of... Jamo! Jamo, 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 Oh, 2012, wasn't it? Uh, yes, started yeah. recording and released on the, well, unofficial release on the 18th. We had a party at a media bar in his house. Uh, we were recording a promotional video and a load of fucking mad shit happened that night. We ended up putting the roof in in the house and yeah, everything, you know, the, sure. in the kitchen, the whole ceiling fucking Check packed. it out, it's on YouTube. So there's a video of it all on YouTube. Also not promoted. <laughs> but uh, then officially on uh, May something or other, 23rd or something. Oh, there goes the light. <laughs> <laughs> we anyway, did. You were right. I think yeah, the bulb's gone. Just say it again. Oh no! Oh, we'll oh, have to oh, delete oh. the tape that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do it. It wasn't us. So uh, I'll buy them a bulb. We did break the roof and we didn't break the light either. <laughs> we break things. So yeah, uh, just that your presence breaks things. We, now. Started, we started playing gigs on the 17th of May. And Oma was the first yeah. time we yes. Also, we yeah, had about 16 gigs since then. Just, just, uh, uh, just under. So next weekend, I we'll think our Katie gig next weekend will be our 60th gig. 60? Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's our best yeah. down here. 60th was shot again. Yeah. 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 We're going to work hard now. But you said you meant you set a bunch of chandras there when you were introducing the band. Can you describe the sound of the band like in more detail, or is it just a mix of everything? It's, I suppose unintentionally it is a mix of everything. We just sort of play what I well, fucking cliche it sounds what means right. So like we just play what, what sounds good. What sounds good? Sound yeah. It's the basis of the songs. Like yeah, when you yeah. start off, you got a riff, and it's just like right. Here's your song, and you can battle with it there. We've got versatility too, because we add different aspects in, like there's some trippy sections, some battler sections, and then just so like pure. That's the other. You know, the spacey part, like yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but the groove. Cool. We can take some nice voices, but yeah, like special things. Heavy weed. That's how I describe it. Like big heavy weed groups, big stony fucking. Uh, uh, you know, big sludgers as well. Like, Okay, slug hunter. Slug hunter, yeah. Telling us the word about slug hunter, really. What was the slug hunter? Oh, the fella that's used the slug? Yeah, we're near, we're near near the band, slug hunter. We were always called slug hunter at one point, yeah. So what made you not go for slug hunter? I think it's because everybody said it would bust out laughing. Because imagine a fella who backs a slug. I fucking know. I can actually do this in the podcast. Check it out, guys. Slug Hunter's is just a guy in the back of a back of a slug on the back of a dead yeah. slug. Yeah. What's he on? 
Scottish looks. Oh. <laughs> He's captured the slugs like all the other slugs. He's got like a big old underbus. Other slugs, you know. It was going to be. He said he's just that wee touch fast. He's just that wee touch. So that's why it's just. It could be our new slugger. It's just in the back of our Bible. Yeah. I read a slow whip in it. Uh, but, oh jeez. But that's the shit talk that happens, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Do you feel like your music's a fall since you started, or have you just sort of stayed the same from start till now? It's got heavier. I yeah. think it's got heavier. Yeah. It's got a sludgier eye. Yeah, sludgier. It's still rocking in all the right places. Yeah. But it's just the sludgy bits have just gotten even nastier. Like the only sludgy bit on the first EP is the last riff in the Fernand, really. Like, uh, yeah. And it just went from there. Yeah. <laughs> what it's the like the last riff on the like EP, and then we carried that riff on. To the <laughs> <laughs> It's still yeah, its way out. So yeah, there's only one rep of that, but the newer stuff's fucking it's pretty heavy. Yeah. There is the rapping yeah. though, mate. There's still got the rocking elements, fucking keeping every element I had in the first EP, but all yeah. the sludge in there. Too. It was all about sort of groove at the start, we'll have this groove and we just explored it. It sort of got more ferocious as well with the newer stuff, it's a bit more of a biting, like, you know, rather than just your, your laying into the groove rapping sort of stuff. It just got a bit more nasty. Heavy. Everyone yeah. likes heavy, but like yeah, you know, exactly. it can only get heavier. Yeah. If it gets lighter, it's time to give up. Exactly, you know? yeah. so, but um, you're working on the material at the minute, aren't you? <coughs> Tell us more about it. Or? Yes, we'll have three songs on our set tonight. Ego Eccentric and Mac Chira. And then the other one, we're calling Parasitic at the minute. But yeah, we're, we're, we're content with it. Uh, yeah, we want to call it Rasputin because we use a sample from the movie Rasputin, the mad, the mad monk, you know, with Christopher Lee Jam. And uh, it's deadly, like, what is it, Brute the song? Like, right. We should definitely call it Rasputin. Uh, <laughs> uh, Everyone will be expecting a rah rah Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to be yeah. at him once. <laughs> Gypsy Punk, we're not the first Gypsy Punk. No, we're not the first. Big gate, no one's going to go with it. Yeah, but they're all like they're still rocking and stuff. We don't like limit ourselves to play it. I think, yeah, that's cool. It would be cool if this song went to this place and then bring in other rest of the world. necessarily to develop their style for the band, it's a style for each song, but it sort of happens all the time. So, anyway, it's just the yeah. riffs come out and you, you know what way they're going to go, sort of. Okay. Or you sort of know what way they're going to play it. Like. These are happy with it anyway. Yeah, it's not, it's not really like a formula, it's more like a natural yeah. rhythm. The, the, yeah. the formula sort of unfolds itself in front of you. Like, you know, sometimes it, it writes itself. itself. It writes itself. <laughs> the songs are the longest. I don't know about that. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Your songs are quite long as well, but so is it not hard like um, having it all flow in perfectly, or does it just come naturally every time? Yeah, uh, fuck those times when you just want to fucking throw the guitar against the wall. Like, yeah. <laughs> I would say, fuck this tune, like. Hey, for me, there. it's basically like you have riffs just hanging around up there, and I was trying to fucking grab them and get them down and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I like for with brute force and ignorance, but you just fucking do it. <laughs> you beat them in, and, uh, you get some and just keep playing them. You keep playing them and until the fucking latch, like yeah. then you get them. Like a jigsaw going wrong. Yeah. No, you belong. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a jigsaw, yeah. and then you get a knife out. Yeah. 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 It's like you're getting in there, you cut you. <laughs> oh fuck. Sometimes it fucking feels horribly like there has been songs where we've just been like, what the fuck are we thinking here? Yeah. But uh, yeah. There's just a couple of songs in the back burner, like, but uh, yes. the majority of the stuff that we're writing is good enough to make it onto the new EP, like. Yeah, totally. So that's yeah. hopefully what will happen. That's definitely what will happen. Yeah. But <laughs> very soon. You need to work through the finer details, like, but that's the overall agenda. How do you find being in a band in Ireland? A lot of people have it's negative. It's hard work, but yeah. It's hard work. Yeah. Um, it's good. It's brilliant. Like in some respects, like because yeah, yeah, it's got positive like, 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 like. But you really do have to slog it, like. Yeah. You have to put yeah. the balls to the wall, like. You can't, people to play, take notice. you can't play a gig once every couple of months and expect people to show up when you haven't been going around and making a name for yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? So. It is hard, like, but it's fucking worth it, man. But you turn it off. Are you happy with the scene, or would do you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. yeah. So I think it's a good thing, but a lot of people don't show it the appreciation that it's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. There's it's a lot of people who do, though. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 no, yeah. I understand. Whenever you get yeah. that, it's, it's yeah. lethal, like. There are the people that, you yeah. know, support it all, but. It is self sustaining to a certain degree, but it is very. Uh, it's like a brotherhood, or a brother and sisterhood, not to be right to the 
It's like a family for like a tribe, as Matt Cascani once described it. Yeah, true. So, the Matt community anywhere, like you know there's more of that. Yeah. It's like a fucking tribe. Go as my Italian. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm Kiri. <laughs> Like in Ireland, there's so many brilliant musicians. Like, oh. so, like there's so many bands as well. I think for like such a small place, there's just so much music. Like, and it's sort of like there's so many bands trying to get heard. Yeah. Over the last yeah. five years, it's just took off. Yeah. It really has, it has just yeah. took off. You know. So like, with all the bands, obviously there's competition for fans. Like, but there's obviously people out there who dig music. Like, so yeah, there's nothing it's sort of like we're building off. <laughs> a strange wide range of genres too. Like there is. Sick. Which is good. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Definitely. You've got hardcore bands like fucking the I Means, for example, your own. Yeah. Like playing <laughs> fucking us stoner bands and then fucking wherever else, like punk and shit. Oh, that's it. I, I like that it all sort of goes together as well. You know, there's never a this is a hardcore gig, this is a metal exactly, gig. It's like yeah. this is a really good gig. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, exactly. it's always yeah, like, you know. Like a lot of people around here have very eclectic tastes in music. That's why gigs like we have by any means and us on ceaseless blight. Yeah. All in the same building, people are like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. Because they don't give a shit what it is, because a different flavour coming with each fucking band. It's worth your money. Big time, you know? yeah. Like five pound in for three different types of bands yeah. is even good, you know? Exactly. Never mind getting your five bands for fiver. Yeah. Derry so, has a suite as well. Derry does a lot of it where the bar pays you. That's true. And the, it's a free gig. Exactly. Yeah. And you get to play with like, loads of bands as well, like hardcore bands like the Libido like Switch. Libido Switch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 the Libido Switch. The Lads. Lads. Yeah. So what's next for Astro Nut? Beer. Gig is a beer. Yeah. Gig is a beer clock. We're gigging tonight in the Voodoo. Name drop. And uh, then yeah. next week in Barry. And then Katie home. next hour. Homecoming gig, yeah. In Katie. Stans. Home from home for some. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In Stans. Where we were born. We were born and nerd. Where we learned our trade, yeah. but yeah. Uh, we cut our teeth. We whitey yeah. our balls off in. Then we're. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they got to say, Matthew. In the box. You're going to ring up on it. Uh, well, then we're going on tour the second week of October. Yes. We're going to be all over Ireland. All over, all over the show. So that's the plan for us. And then yeah. EP recording as well starts hopefully end of October all being well. We'll start tracking the drums, November, guitars, and maybe a single release we've talked about for December and promotion of. But Christmas song. Actually, Christmas song. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas yeah. release, yeah. Austrian bells. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be named that. Has to be. <laughs> Well, that's everything from me, guys. Thanks very much for your time. And uh, I'm going to play a track for you. Do you just want to introduce it to everyone watching? Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, or no, sorry. We're astronauts, and this is the Emerald Lord of Pleasure. Thanks very much, guys. See you later. <laughs> Okay.